Okay, it's my turn to ask. <laughs> Can't uh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Allison, any advice to aspiring actors? Okay. I feel like I'm still an aspiring actor. Yeah, so, um, I feel the same way. I guess at this point, I would say... I don't want to say like never give up, but yeah. it really is a marathon. Like, it is. I have so many talented friends who just stopped mm-hmm. because of so much rejection. And mm-hmm. I mean, I always want to stop because of so much rejection. Yeah. But it really is. I think half enjoy the battle the is enjoying the process and really like moving forward and mm-hmm. never really like dwelling on one thing. Yeah. And. A lot of like, if you get rejected, it's just moving you in a different path. Like, I don't think that's like stopping you from doing something. Yeah. Unless you're like, whatever. But yeah, I always think like, what is meant for you, nobody, yeah. nobody else can take from you. Yes, I remember you, you know? saying once that like, as long as you're open to it, yeah. nothing will pass you. And I always yeah. think about that, and it's what, true. It, I really, yeah, I, I believe that for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah, I think enjoying the process. Yeah. And, like, realizing, like, long-term goals are just as important, you know? Don't yeah. just, like... I mean, obviously, we did, like, funny stuff in the beginning mm-hmm. of our careers and, like, stuff that maybe we didn't care about or weren't yeah. that passionate about just to kind of get a feel for things. But I think enjoying the process. Yeah. Enjoy. Right. And also, like, not... Um like, not having such, like, tunnel vision on what you think you want. Like, mm-hmm. I think everyone should always be able to try new things because I don't yeah like how do you know what you yeah. like or good at if you don't know like some people are like I just do comedy right like, you yeah. don't know so have I'd you ever that. been told like you can only play this or only do this um I got like really pigeonholed in like classes in college that they were like you're, you're too subtle that you just you're like strictly for film and, uh, I'm like, and you've done no, a ton of theater I've done like mostly theater yeah, here in Chicago sure. so I'm like well you're wrong. <laughs> but I uh, know it's like, yeah. Stick it to him. I, I didn't even think I hadn't, like, I could do film. And, like, once I moved to Chicago, it's, like, really what I wanted to do. Yeah. So, yeah, keep your options open. Okay. Where are you originally from? Oh, man. Um, well, I was born in Ohio. And... It's kind of like a loaded question because I just moved around so much yeah. as a kid. But uh, I was born in Ohio. I lived there for like six months. And then Minnesota and then Arizona and then Michigan. Wow. And then Kentucky and then Michigan and then like Portland, Oregon. And then oh, my gosh. Los Angeles. That sounds so, fun, actually. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of moving around as a yeah. kid. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's move on from that. <laughs> Most influential movie to you as an artist? I'd have to say A Woman Under the Influence, directed by John Cassavetes, and mm. it's Gina Rowlands in it. Wow. She's my favorite actress. Really? And she's so inspiring. Like that movie, when I watched it for the first time, I was like, this is unreal. <laughs> and also, like, they had such a small budget on that film, too. And, yeah. like, they, they're just, you can just tell when I someone's connected. Seen it. You, you got to. Really? It's okay, so <laughs> great. It's so good. Yeah, so I think that's like a really influential film that I watched and I was like, okay, like. Like, what did it make you feel that, that like, that why did it inspire you? I think there was a lot of improvisation in it. Mm-hmm. And like, um, there was just some really quiet but like real moments. Mm-hmm. And it was also really heartbreaking and everything just seemed so real. Like, you, mm-hmm. it was like a fly on the wall. Mm-hmm. I love those movies where it's just like you get to just watch these people live their life and mm-hmm. like it's great it was really really nice that's cool yeah yeah <laughs> that's awesome yeah I think for me like I love Ken Loach yeah um Sweet 16 was like the film that like opened my eyes to like a certain style of filmmaking I don't filmmaking. think I've seen that oh it's really good it's like very natural and mm-hmm. like improv based um the tone of it is basically kind of like the same tone as Mercy's Girl. Yeah. Um, at least I tried to. Is that the European <laughs> movie with like the guys in the, the, the trailer or? Yeah, he actually, he's trying to buy his mom a trailer. Yes, okay. She's in jail right yeah. now. Um, but I like any Ken Loach film, yeah. he just like, 
I just, I when I saw it, I never had seen that style of filmmaking. Mm -hmm. And I always, as a kid, wanted to be a filmmaker yeah. versus an actor. I just thought, never saw any women yeah. as, like, filmmakers. And so, like, I remember, like, only wanting to make films, but you didn't see women, like, mm -hmm. in that role. Yeah. I just thought the way in was through acting. Mm -hmm. And so, like, I love acting, but I definitely enjoy filmmaking better. But Ken Loach is, like, what I think wow. really opened my eyes. Like, yeah, I want to make that. Mm -hmm. I want to make films like that. So. I love that feeling when you find <laughs> yeah. that. It's like, wow, okay, it's possible. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Do you live life by a certain philosophy? Um, let's see. That one's a good one. That is a good one. Mm, I think maybe like cherish the day. Mm -hmm. and that sounds like really cheesy. <laughs> no, all of them, all of them, I think. Okay. <laughs> like, Let's cherish the, the day. Yeah, right, exactly. Um, cherish the day is good. Versus like seize the day. Like I think seize the day is important, but like as I'm getting older, mm -hmm. I feel like cherish the day. Like really just like drink it in and mm -hmm. like be with it and like just be thankful for it. And yeah, cherish the day. Yeah. I, <laughs> I heard this quote once that was like, if you have one foot in yesterday and one foot in the oh. next day, you're like pissing all over today. Oh, <laughs> I know that's I like, like that. so bad, that's but it's such like a better kind of like wow, that is tr very true. So yeah, <laughs> it's like so crass, but no, I <laughs> so crass of you, Allison. <laughs> I like it. All right, how would you describe yourself in three words? Oh my god, <laughs> these are these are that's, tough questions. Uh, um. Oh, three three words. I don't know. Um, I'm very passionate. <laughs> it just feels so cheesy. It feels right? so like self indulgent and like uh, pretentious. But okay. But I am very passionate. God, these questions suck. No. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Emily. <laughs> I, you know, my fault. Thank, my bad. <laughs> thanks, online website. Um, okay, I'm passionate. I really love to be creative, so I think mm -hmm. that's a part of me. Passionate, creative, definitely. Caring. And caring. Thank you. That's a good that's, one. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. That's that's a three. You are very caring. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, what's your biggest culinary failure? Oh, my God. I kind of, like, saw that right there in the corner of my eye, and I was like, oh, God, why did I get this one? You're a good cook. I, I think I am. I'm a terrible baker. Really? I'm a terrible baker, yeah. I like, I think chocolate cupcakes. Like I try to make chocolate cupcakes from scratch mm -hmm. and they kind of like tasted like cardboard <laughs> <laughs> and like turned into like sawdust. In what? Your mouth. Oh my God. <laughs> when you took a bite, it turned into like powder. It turned into powder in my mouth. And I was like, <laughs> This is not how it's supposed to be. I was like, just put frosting on it and give it to them. It's yeah, okay. that's all right. It was We're like for somebody's know. birthday. <laughs> they're, they're like, I want So it's not just like, oh, I'm going to try this out. You're just like, yeah. oh, I'm going to bake these for I'm someone like, else. She just gone for the box. I was like, no, it's for their birthday. I'm going to make it really special. <laughs> and like, the fir and like, yeah, it was awful. It was oh like, my gosh. literally bite into it and it turns into like powder. So I wonder, I. I'm terrible yeah. at that all. That, yeah, so. I don't know. If there's like any bakers or anybody out there that knows like what I, what would give it that uh, texture, let us <laughs> let me know. <laughs> let me know. Let me know. <laughs> no but. more sawdust. Yeah.